uh, linebackers, as you know, took a lot of heat for things that went wrong with the Eagles defense in, in 2011. And I talked to um, Jason Babin yesterday, and one thing he said was, if, if you look at our linebackers, a young group that got better as the season went along, they made more plays. Um, people are overlooking the fact that this unit got better. Is that how you see it? It's a young unit that got better and will continue to get better? Yeah, I, I think that I think that is the case. I mean, you can't say, I mean, we stayed the same the whole season. You can't say we got worse as the season went on. We got we got better. And uh, that's what you're going to have with a young group. The safeties are young, too. I mean, you saw that with them, too. They improved, you know, after every game. And as the season went on, we started, you know, started to click. Uh, those guys, you know, that play corner and play defense, they don't been in the league a long time. I mean, mm -hmm. five, six, seven years. I mean, some of them guys, some are longer than that. So uh, they got a lot of experience. I mean, not making that excuse because it's NFL. So you know, you, when you step out there, you got to be ready to play. But uh, I, I just, I, that's what I see. Uh, you know, the linebacker. I mean, the linebackers in general. I mean, in Philadelphia, you know, get criticized a lot. You know, just because mm -hmm. we never had a stable group of uh, guys that been at at, uh, at one time pretty much the whole sixteen game season. But uh, it's a, it's a, when you play defense, it's 11 guys out there and 11 guys got to do their job. I mean, the, the Giants, I mean, they, they played, made a, a heck of a run, but uh, they linebackers, they don't have no big names with linebackers. I mean, they linebackers are not, you know, those guys you, if you say you want a linebacker, you want to pick one of their guys. I mean, mm -hmm. those guys just play good as a team, and that's something we got to do, just play good as a team on defense. And that's the main thing. I mean, time to play wins your game, but a uh, team where it wins your championship. So, and when you, uh, had 11 guys out there playing, playing for each other and playing with each other and having fun out there. I mean, no matter who you put out there, you're going to look good. You think a lot of the criticism the linebackers got was unfair in, in many cases? Uh, I mean, I, I, I try not to worry about, you know, all the criticism and whatnot. You, got, you, you, can't, uh, you can't value yourself worth on what people say about you. I mean, uh, this is a league. I mean, you can pay a lot of money and uh, – it comes with the territory. I mean, you either deal with it or you can't deal with it. And I think we did a good job of dealing with it because you saw we improved every season. Mm -hmm. We didn't let it get to us, and uh, we just kept going. So, I mean, we, we try not to, you know, listen to it. I mean, we heard it, but uh, when it's all said and done, we're going to be a pretty good linebacker. Crew. How difficult was it to sit there and watch, of all teams, the Giants win the Super Bowl? I mean, it was very difficult. Uh, a team that you know you can beat, that you have beaten, uh, you was right there. I mean, we don't think they should have been the first time they did, but uh, hats off to them. I mean, they put it together at the right time, you know. It took us a little too long to put it together, but they put it together, you know, at the right time and made it run. And uh, one thing you can say about them, man, they play with a lot of confidence. They uh, talk to talk and they walk to walk at the end of the season. Mm. Individually, what do you need to do to get better, whether you play in the middle or, or, or the strong side? What do you need to do? in 2012 that you want to do to get better physically as a professional linebacker? Uh, well, going on my third year, just uh, understanding the game a little more, you know, uh, learning from guys like, you know, like I said, I know Patrick Willis a lot, uh, learning from guys like uh, Jeremiah Charlie, you know, I mean, him talk a lot, you know, and uh, just learning from guys like that, just understanding the game, you know, what they look at on film, you know, uh, how they break down, how they break down film on themselves, how they evaluate themselves on film, and uh, this is what they look for when they watch other teams. Cause I, I mean, that's that's for a middle linebacker, inner linebacker. That's that's a lot a part of what you do. You know, break it down. Uh, it's just like a quarterback on the defense. You, know, you want to make sure you know, at least have an idea of what the offense might try to do. You know, to to your defense, the type of defense. So uh, just understand those kind of things better. Uh, understanding the defense a little more. You know, kind of rush through it last year because you, you know you had to play on the run. You know, but. Uh, they should just understand the overall defense, knowing what everybody does, not just my position, but all three linebacker positions, what the D-line is supposed to do, the safeties, you know. And I think that'll make you play faster, too, when you know exactly what everybody do. So those are some of the main things. And physically, you know, just getting bigger, stronger, and faster. Uh, I don't think I'm at my peak yet. I mean, I got a long way to go, and uh, just continue to outwork everybody. Any personal satisfaction for you because leading the team in tackles, this, the defense in tackles this year? Anytime you're the Mike linebacker and your defense don't play the way you're expecting to play, the way everybody's expecting to play, uh, I don't think you uh, – then that's the, the downfall, you know, of 
me was being the Mike linebacker last year. I take all the responsibility for the team giving up what five, four quarter leads and uh, not doing this, not doing that. I mean, cause that's the Mike linebacker job. You know, you're the leader. You stand in front of the huddle, and uh, it's your team when you're out there. I mean, one call the plays, but it's I'm on the field with them guys. So, you know, you know, it just I won't say satisfaction because I led the team in uh, tackles, but it's more of a motivational standpoint to come back next year and lead my team better than what I did last year. Final question. You said you spent a lot of time with Jeremiah Trotter. And what has he taught you about the game? When you when you look at the way he played the game and when he talks to you through scenarios, what are you trying to adapt that made him what he was when he was part of this Philadelphia Eagles defense? I would think uh, I like about his game, you know, and uh, I try to, you know, improve on it. And that's something man work on it. He comes down here, you know, and he, he, he's a real physical linebacker coming down here striking off as a lineman and, you know, getting rid of him and going to make the play. But I mean, the thing with, with me that I see sometimes on film, you know, I come down, I give a good blow, but then, you know, I don't get rid of the offensive lineman first and I try to find the ball or, you know, try to make plays that you, I mean, let it come to you, you know, and uh, that's some things that me and him talk about, just making sure I go down and hit him first, get rid of him, then go find the ball instead of, you know, hit him, start peaking and stuff like that before you get rid of them.